Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. So, you know, <laughs> I'm really, I'm fascinated. I'm, you know, I'm watching in real time the history of Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. So this is a modern blockbuster attempt. It was a failure. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves did not reach the level of an American blockbuster. It made $200 million. It was a commercial failure. Um, blockbuster means people, you know, were literally standing around the block to see to see this. And that was true, right, for uh, Super Mario, but it wasn't true for Dungeons & Dragons, right? But one of the things that's really fascinating to me is what's happening with Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. So here's the flow. It dropped on for Reelsies global release. And now that, that's usually exciting, right? There were, there were literally millions of people who saw this thing release as a blockbuster, right? And that meant literally a global red carpet, right? There were red carpets all over the world. Um, Chris Pine made $11 million to be in this thing. It really was a true, actual global release, and it was a blockbuster release, and it was very exciting on the big screen. Then it hit digital, right? It only had a week and a half as a digital release before it then went straight to streaming to uh, Paramount+. Plus. Now, what really is fascinating to me, and this is... So, what's... Okay, I love... So, uh, it is my my contention. The dungeon, the tabletop role-playing game industry is split into three groups. It's split into D&D, it's split into OSR, and it's split into Indie. And that, and they are listed in the hierarchy, right? Uh, D&D is the biggest. OSR is the next most prominent, right? Even if Indie is bigger, it doesn't matter because it's got such small... There, I think there might be a longer tail. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't know what the long tail is, uh, Google that. It's, it's a thing. I think there might be a long tail on, on indie, but the reality is it's it's like 100 games that each have four players, right? Whereas OSR actually has some dedicated players, and I think OSR is generally more prominent and more powerful in tabletop role-playing games because it's one less step removed from Dungeons & Dragons, right? Dungeons & Dragons is king, um, and then OSR is a king copy, and then indie is a stable boy. That, that's That's the flow of it, right? And so you have this situation where, and so what's really interesting is Dungeons and Dragons right now is on Paramount Plus, right? And that means, I'm telling you, there's a 50 year old woman who doesn't give two rats about Dungeons and Dragons, but she got Paramount Plus so she could watch Yellowstone 1883 and 1923, all that have Kevin Costner, Helen Mirren, and Harrison Ford in it, right? So there's a 50-year-old woman in America, right, who doesn't give two figs about Dungeons and Dragons, who's going to watch Dungeons and Dragons tonight, right? Because it was a global blockbuster release, right? And it's on her streamer, and she can watch it for free, right? And I tell you every day that Dungeons and Dragons is absolutely dominating its foes. And it is not small how, right? OSR doesn't have anything like this. And the indie doesn't have anything like this. And there are hundreds. There are thousands of games in each one of them. And not a single one of them. The entire rest of the industry could not get a 50-year-old woman to sit down and watch their movie with real Hollywood juice. Because they can't get the funding. They can't get the momentum. They can't get anything. And it hurts them. It hurts them. It hurts them. And every OSR whiner out there and every indie whiner wonders why nobody will pay attention to their games. And the reason why is their games suck because they can't get any juice behind them to actually have American success. This is an American success. Is a 50-year-old woman who doesn't even know what a D20 is watching your movie while your foes fall farther and farther and farther behind. This is why Dungeons and Dragons wins, right? And we need good art, we need good layout, and we need good writing, but that doesn't win markets. Real American Hollywood juice wins markets. D&D &D up, OSR and Indie down.